My name is Heather and I'm a gardener here at Growing Spaces. I'm certified in permaculture design and my focus is on organic, sustainable practices. I have 27 years of experience organic farming and gardening in many different ecosystems. I've taught permaculture and agroecology and I'm here to answer your gardening questions. So you go away for a few months and you're super excited to garden your dome when you come home. And you go into your dome and go to water it and the water just rolls right off. Soil's turned hydrophobic. This means that the bacteria and fungal life in the soil has died from not being watered for quite a while. There are many different degrees of death in the soil and many different ways of fixing it. Notice how with hydrophobic soil, the water pools on top and drains straight through, leaving the center completely dry. It doesn't take any water at all because there's no bacteria or fungal life left in it. Now your soil can completely die without being watered and in that case, if it's been left for a very long time, sometimes your best option is to remove the top few inches of the soil and replace with some good healthy compost. And sometimes it can be repaired. So this is hydrophobic soil that we mended with fish emulsion and a little bit of extra fertility and slowly, slowly it started to hold moisture again. And this is hydrophobic soil that couldn't be mended. And you see the difference. Here are a few solutions to repairing hydrophobic soil. Compost, compost tea, manure tea, whey, mycorrhiza, or and a wetting agent. We're happy to help with any questions, guidance, or ways to best utilize the resources available to you. We look forward to hearing from you.